What's up beautiful people and welcome to another video of me telling you what I thought about movies I just saw. The only difference is these movies which I'm only just now seeing came out 20 or more years ago. American classics which I'm just now getting around to seeing. For this video I'll be discussing three. Forrest Gump, Ghostbusters and Love Jones. And do not worry, there will be a part 2 to this because I know that I haven't scratched the surface yet. And before I get into the video, I know that someone will ask me this question, if not now, later. Yes, we did get American shows, movies, and cartoons in Cameroon. Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, Beverly Hills 90210, Stargate, Family Matters, etc. However, there are a lot of movies that slipped under my radar. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Up first, Forrest Gump. Brilliant. A massive American history lesson told with humor by a guy with a southern country accent as he waits at a bus stop. Almost every major era is represented. Kennedy, Vietnam, Black Panther, Elvis, Watergate, etc. And wrapped up in it is a love story. It's a classic fairy tale movie about an underdog. Here's this guy who has a mental disability, is even called the local idiot, and goes on to get a college football scholarship, receives a medal of honor for fighting in Vietnam, is on a TV show sitting next to John Lennon. He even ends up owning his own shrimp company and marrying his childhood sweetheart all without trying. But of course, I call on him running across the country. Not saying it's not possible, but I mean, come on. How can you be running aimlessly for two whole years and then not run into wild animals and such? Maybe it's metaphorical, but I was getting the notebook vibes from it. And you guys know how I feel about that movie if you've watched my movies, music, and sports tag video from last year. It's my absolute favorite romantic movie. And actually, the actress who plays Jenny in Forrest Gump looks a lot like Rachel McAdams. The movie is a yay for me. Moving on to Ghostbusters. The original Ghostbusters, obviously, from 1984. It was cheesy but well written. I did appreciate some of the nerdy moments and sayings in the movie, but the CGI was quite terrifying. But I expected no less. The movie did come out in the 80s. Technology wasn't what it is today. One thing is for sure though, I will not be sitting through that movie a second time. Love Jones. First off, I had to look up what Love Jones even means because none of the characters were named that. Jones apparently is a slang or code for withdrawals, and after seeing the movie, it makes complete sense. I can now see why the photograph, which came out on Valentine's Day, which I did do a review on, was being compared to this movie. The photograph follows the setup of Love Jones almost to a T, with a little bit of the notebook thrown in there. In both movies, the main characters meet and things heat up rather quickly. However, both parties are claiming that they're just having fun, it's nothing serious, just kicking it, which is a whole other video on its own. And where in the photograph, May's mother was into photography, in Love Jones, Nina, the main character, is the photographer. And in both movies, the couple has an argument and one person gets offered a job in some distant land and moves away, but they end up meeting up again and rekindling whatever they had going on before. Now this movie, I enjoyed. It was a good movie, however, it wasn't great. Darius's poetry went over my head. I'm assuming it was supposed to be improvised, but that made no kind of sense to me. Love and Basketball and The Wood will always be my favorite black love movies. I could watch those movies over and over again. As a matter of fact, I'm about to watch The Wood after I'm done filming. And that, my friends, wraps up this video. And as I mentioned earlier, there will be a part two to this. So you might want to hit that notification bell if you don't want to miss it when I upload it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you right back here next Tuesday. Bye.